Solomon and Brent, I guess the IRS is now getting involved? Absolutely, and that's at the sheriff's request. Investigators want to know if there's any fraud in finances from the nonprofit run by Ann Goland of Orange County. This after authorities say she is to blame for deplorable animal conditions at her farm. The 57-year-old was arrested today and charged with 27 misdemeanor counts of cruelty. Orange County investigators spent three days removing 81 animals from the peaceable farm. Many of them in need of immediate attention. Some were so bad they had to be euthanized. Investigators say Golan voluntarily handed over 71 of her animals to authorities, but would not hand over 10 horses. So deputies had no choice but to seize them. When the sheriff stepped foot on the property, he tells us he was at a complete loss for words. What I saw was one of the most horrendous sights I've ever seen in 28 years in law enforcement. We found six dead horses, one dead donkey, many dogs, cats and chickens. Now the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office says this is an active investigation and more charges are expected. Although she's now in custody, the suspect still has about 18 animals on our property and many animal advocates want to know why. Coming up new at 6, we're asking the Commonwealth's Attorney that very question. On your side, Brent Solomon, 12 News. Thanks, Brent. Police claim a quick-thinking school resources officer foiled the plans of two students who wanted to shoot up a local high school. The two are now...